welcome friends to our NPTEL MOOC module on health economics. We are at the verge of the last week of uh, the module and uh, the last week contains public health, its issue, challenges, how to deal for it. Hence, the first lecture of this one uh, this week is to explain the uh, or to introduce you about public health. Hence, it is titled as Introduction to Public Health. To understand this, we are supposed to deal with the following important aspect like how to define public health, then um, what are different health promotions and uh, what are the different uh, you know, prevention techniques, why prevention is required, then rehabilitation etc. To define, we need to uh, refer uh, the standard uh, institutional framework of it that is WHO. Uh, so, WHO report we are referring for its 2000 report as a health system is defined as all the activities whose primary purpose is to promote, restore or maintain health. And uh, the primary responsibility of any health system is to protect and improve uh, population health, uh, where the public health is defined as the science and uh, art of avoiding illness, extending life and uh, improving efficiency and well-being of the people via the coordinated you know community involvements and their actions. This uh, cares for the, on the entire population and their health and uh, undermines or the cartel uh, the extent of uh, diseases which affect their health. This majorly includes health promotion, prevention and rehabilitation. Hence, we will discuss some of them. Uh, starting with health promotion, we need to take some of the you know systematic efforts which could guide the upliftment of the individual health. Hence, it is a guiding concept that involves the set of activities intended to enhance individual and community well-being. This seeks to you know increase involvement and control of the individual and the community uh, in their own health. This also acts to follow uh, that adversely affect health, well-being and productive capacities. To improve health, I mean those uh, you know acts such as to improve health and social welfare and to reduce specific determinants of uh, disease and risk factors. Uh, setting targets based on the size of the problem. Uh, but also the you know, feasibility of successful intervention in a very cost effective way is very important. This is applicable in the community clinics and hospitals and all other service settings. Uh, this helps in raising uh, awareness, informing people about their health and lifestyle factors. Uh, there are various elements which um, actually help in promoting health are addressing the population as a whole in health related issues and directing actions to you know risk factors or causes of illness or death, advocating relevant environmental health and uh, social policy, encouraging health professional participation in the health education and health policy. This also in, involves public participation in defining problems and deciding their uh, action plan of action. Next aspect of uh, the public health as an introduction is prevention, how we can able to prevent the odds. Uh, it refers to the goals of uh, medicine which are to promote, to preserve and to restore health when it is impaired or to minimize suffering or the distress if any. There are three levels or types of uh, prevention as mentioned by Fos and uh, Fine 2000 paper. They mention three levels like primary level intervention, secondary and tertiary uh, prevention and um, primary prevention is largely refers to the activities that are uh, undertaken to prevent the disease and injury from occurring. It works with both the individual and the community. It may be directed at the host uh, to increase resistance uh, to the agent such as immunizations or cessation of smoking. It may be directed at environmental activities to reduce conditions favorable to the factor 
such as like you know example like mosquito vectors for malaria or of malaria. The use of automobile seat belts, uh, you know protection you know or as condoms etc. Uh, use skin protection from ultraviolet light, uh, tobacco use cessation programs, etc., are called the very primary prevention techniques. Others are like secondary and tertiary. Here, secondary means the early you know diagnosis, you know, secondary refers to the diagnosis and its proper management to prevent complications from a disease. It includes steps to uh, isolate cases and treat or immunize contracts to prevent further epidemic outbreaks. Whereas, the tertiary prevention refers to the involvement of uh, you know activities which are directed uh, at the host, but also at the environment to promote rehabilitation, restoration and maintenance of maximum function after the disease and its complications are stabilized. Now, you can differentiate when you are saying primary, it is at the very fundamental level, we are actually preventing. Even in the secondary level, we are also suggesting to prevent the diagnosis. Therefore, the management is very important at the secondary level. Whereas, in the tertiary case, we are actually preventing once the disease is contracted. Okay. So, providing a wheelchair, special toilet facilities, doors, ramps, transportation services for uh, you know paraplegics are often the most vital factors of rehabilitation etc. Hence, rehabilitation is important uh, how to rehabilitate another you know, public health challenge and uh, direction. The process of restoring a person's social identity by reposition of his or her normal roles and functions in the society is called rehabilitation. It involves the restoration and maintenance of patient's physical, you know, uh, psychological, social, emotional and uh, vocational abilities. Interventions are directed towards the consequences of disease and injury. It should include conducting a full assessment of people with disability and suitable support systems. Similarly, it also includes establishing a clear care, care plan providing measures and services to deliver the care plan is equally important. So, under uh, this there are core activities as well like preventing epidemics, protecting the environment, workplace, food and water, promoting healthy behavior, mentioning the health status of the population, mobilizing community action, responding to disasters, assuring the quality, accessibility, accountability of the medical care and reaching to develop new insights and innovative solutions and also leading the development of sound health planning and policy. Nonetheless, the public health strongly requires ethical you know, issues and their challenges. Ethical we mean how uh, the steps which are taken directly or indirectly curtailing the behavior of other entities or the stakeholders. So, the ethical aspects is actually make the program sustainable. The ethical checks, the challenges in the ethical uh, checks, if it is checked very clearly would actually make the program very successful and sustainable. There are economic impacts of the ethical challenges such as public health regulations affect the industries such as you know uh, like you know tobacco, if public health uh, uh, you know, aspects are ethically followed very strictly then tobacco industry might suffer. Those paying uh, for the public health benefits may not necessarily be the beneficiaries that is regulatory actions for worker safety raising cost to uh, consumers. People may not be willing to pay cost for benefits that would accrue in the long future that for example, measures to limit global warming etc. Public health measures and religion or moral aspects such as you know some public health measures are not acceptable on religious and moral grounds as well. So, those aspects should also be taken care of while taking some action like some of the program if you remember in the 80s about uh, you know strict family planning program uh, for the families and uh, there are some mandatory norms followed uh, and that that you know affects some of the religious uh, 
sentiments so should also be uh, taken care of similarly sex education distribution of contraceptives or condoms to adolescent uh, morals uh, adolescents etc affects the morality as well and uh, some some sort of education and uh, you know uh, ethical education or related to these uh, may also be uh, taken care of there are some dilemmas in cost benefit analysis like the difficulty of uh, valuing life and values to be assigned for the rich versus the poor you can also uh, refer to the context of equality and equity or inequity which we discussed um, and and also we discuss about cost benefit analysis and their challenges in our previous weeks promoting public welfare versus individual liberty okay the, that is an, again an, again an, a dil, uh, in dilemma and in conflicting the extent to which government should restrict individual freedom to improve the community health are also equally important similarly collective you know uh, scope and individualism where individualistic societies resist the notion of public health concerns for the collective uh, action hence in the public health um, uh, structure and the functions we have to look at the health pyramid what has to be at the you know focus what has to be focused and what are the different layers as we are referring to the work of freden 2010 uh, work uh, you can just see it's in the pyramid at the bottom socio economic factors to be you know uh, checked very carefully um, so uh, at the i mean if we go from the bottom till the top we are actually emphasizing the individual you know based efforts so or uh, increasing individual effort which are needed for a better public health system and we if you are going uh, in the reverse order it is actually increasing population impact like from the individual perspective we track through socio economic factors then changing the context to make individuals default decisions uh, as healthy uh, long lasting protective interventions then clinical interventions then then finally um, counseling education etc as mentioned by the by freden in five tier pyramid this describes the impact of different types of public health interventions and this provides a framework to improve health at the base of this pyramid indicating interventions with the greatest impact and are the post to address the socio economic determinants of health and this has also a uh, you know long lasting public health uh, you know uh, directions Uh, to cater to the peop- most of the people at the base of the pyramid this indicates as i already mentioned and the socio economic you know determinants in the ascending order i already mentioned and in the descending order also i discussed so these are the basic details and the foundations of uh, the uh, public health issues and challenges uh, so in the next lecture we will discuss little more on healthcare provisioning and also on health system responsiveness and its aspect of demand and supply so further readings are there here for you i think will be highly useful so that's all i look forward to your participation thank you